Schweitzer, who's the communications director and chief strategist for the Republican National Committee. Great to have you here on set. Thanks, Thanks Sean. For Appreciate me. it. You, you have bet. been busy. Well, not as busy as Donald Trump, as you mentioned. Four it's speeches remarkable. in 24 hours. Yeah, I mean, you spoke very decisively and presidentially yesterday in Mexico. Gave that immigration speech last night. Got up this morning, spoke to the American Legion, and now is having a rally. So I need a nap. Just I, I, after I, you just, said that, I, it tires you out <laughs> just trying to keep up with his schedule uh, and, and the amount of enthusiasm and excitement. But which is, so, is wait, interesting. Hold on, though. Enthusiasm yeah. on. Questionably, you see these rallies and there is massive enthusiasm. But the message was very different. Uh, he did not say the things in the way in which he normally says them when he was down with the, uh, with the Mexican president. And then this sort of narrative that's come out of the tale of two Trumps. He says one thing when he's with them, trying to mollify perhaps and, and make sure that that's a, a positive photo op, and then comes back and, and you know, throws that really strong invective yeah, I mean, last look, night about immigration. I mean, let, let's, but, but let's dispel it. Everybody's different in different audiences. In other words, I mean, the President of the United States, when he goes and has a, a very solemn event, he acts solemn when he's on Martha's Vineyard having vacation and doing certain things, he's relaxed. People are different in different environments. That's different than changing your position. So, yes, when he was down in Mexico yesterday, he looked presidential. Standing next to uh, President Peña Nieto, he looked presidential. He talked about the United States and their shared, shared goals and, uh, and, and areas of, of shared national interest. When he was at a rally, he was fired up, speaking of the group. When he was at the American Legion this morning, he was talking about the need to reform the VA in sharp contrast to Hillary Clinton. So, I mean, but the point that's really interesting to me from a political standpoint is whether you're looking at the state polls or the national polls, it's not just the crowd size and the enthusiasm at the rallies, but it's all of these polls are now closing in major ways to Donald Trump's ways. Every single one of them is trending in his direction to the point where the LA Times has them up to, but most of them have been closing the gap in the last two weeks between five, seven, more points, and that's not at the national level, it's at the state level. You too. must have been thrilled with the Fox poll that came out showing that that uh, sizable lead that Hillary Clinton was enjoying after the Democratic convention has has shrunk. I mean, there's two oh, points oh, yeah. between them now. But so all of them. While yeah, that's just, right. great, and while I'm sure that boys not only the RNC but also Trump's folks who've been working pretty feverishly, um, you still have all those swing state polls, which are very, very troubling for no, you. No, that's not. Look. Again, five I, different I, swing states. She's I know John ahead. Berman and I share. We're both Pats fans. We know how to come back in the fourth quarter and win a game. <laughs> That's where we are. But again, what you want is you'd always rather be up than down. No, no, mm -hmm. no question about that. Mm -hmm. But look at where the wind is right now. Every one of those polls, not just the national ones, but the state ones, the wind is at our back. So you look at Ohio, we're either tied or up. Florida, tied or up. Each one of them. No, North Carolina. No, that's not true. Oh, absolutely. No. No, no, them? that's not true at all. In Florida, uh, she's ahead by nine. In Ohio, she's no, ahead by four. Michigan, look. seven. Virginia, 16. She's oh. ahead. Pennsylvania, she's ahead by eight. Granted, some of those polls hold on, hold on. are a but, few weeks old, but those are weeks when he was planning. Old, but the one that just came out, the FAU poll, has her down has her down two to Trump okay. in Florida. So, again, if you want to cherry pick polls, you can find them down. But if you want to no, go down no. the newest ones, I can go down picking. Wisconsin, I'm Iowa, curious. Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan. Each so one of them is trending in his direction. Well, they're like a couple weeks old, those were the days. You look at those polls and you start planning your campaign. Campaign appearances. Wait, let me finish the question. You start planning your campaign appearances based on, oh, geez, we're we're struggling a bit in Pennsylvania. We're mm -hmm. struggling a bit in Florida. Why then would campaign appearances be in Georgia, blood red, Texas, blood red, and Washington State, super duper blue? Where those Got are it. not worrisome places. Great question. But let me just dispel one thing. First of all, the poll that just came out in Florida, not the two-week-old one, not the one-week-old one, the one that came out two days ago, Clinton down 41, 43 to Trump. So when you do look at the most recent polls, he's either trending forward uh -huh. or up. That, to the second question, guess what most of those places are that you mentioned? Texas, that's where we raised the good chunk of our money from. So we have to find, find help. Events. Hold on. But you look at where Hillary Clinton's been. Everyone wants to talk about where Trump's been. Look at where she's been. The Hamptons, Connecticut, Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket, Beverly Hills, Rhode Island. This is, I mean, let's, let's contrast. She hasn't been in a battleground state or in a public place in a long time. He, said, he went to a foreign she country. She was in Ohio hold yesterday. Hold on. He went to a foreign country yesterday. No, I mean, that's and important. You just said she hasn't hold been on. to a swing state in a long she was just in Ohio yesterday okay, with a major Okay, fair enough. So she's speech. been in one. I'm sorry. I was too yeah. confused with whether she was in Beverly Hills or Nantucket. But the reality is is that she hasn't given a press conference in 261 days. What did he do? He went to a foreign country and gave one. I mean, that's a big difference. He is out there engaging with the press, talking about his policies, talking about his ideas. You just okay. mentioned four stops in four days, all very this. public. She's in hiding. Let me ask you about uh, something that, that happened uh, since the meeting in, in Mexico. And big announcement of policy uh, last night in Arizona. Um, it, it's, it's somewhat backfired with some prominent Hispanic community members. Uh, the, one of the leaders of the Latino Partnership for Conservative Principles, Alfonso Aguilar, he said, I'm out. 
I'm walking from this. This is not what I wanted. He said he'd be humane, and last night was tough, 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 and didn't talk about like treating people in a fair and humane way. And then also, the, a member of the Trump Hispanic Advisory Council, according to Politico, Jacob Montoya, excuse me, J Jacob Monte, also resigned. Same complaints. These are people who were in there, hanging in, and they were with him all the way until last night, well, until this. Right, and I think we'd love their support back. There's no question. We want more people to join this effort than less. Um, and some people just have hoped that he'll do something. But what he was last night was consistent, right? So he said everything that he said last night no, was exactly. No, they said the opposite, under, that the meeting no, they had, he on. was softening, saying we want to do this said. humanely. No, they no, said that's not what happened last I night. I understand what they said, but what did he say? He said exactly what he has said. From the get-go, he's been 100% consistent in terms of building a wall, that he's going to deal with the folks that are in this country, that he's going to deter future illegal immigration. Mm. What he said last night was consistent. I understand that some people believe that he was going to say something different. We'd love their support back, but he has been but very, very consistent. But deportation force, which he told Joe and Mika, ended up being deportation task force. But, but, so that's 100% different from 11 million no, got to no, go. No, no, no. It's still, it's the, the result is the same. In other words, he is saying there's nothing uh, un, uh, equivocal about the fact that we have to deal with the people that are in the country illegally. So he has basically has changed nothing. He is talking about the mechanism might be a little bit different, or as we expand how to do this, to understand how we can use the current enforcement uh, of ICE that isn't being tapped into right now of the Immigration and Customs Enforcement yeah. Agency. But he has not changed his position on what's going to happen, whether it's how we're going to secure the border, how we're going to deter future immigration, or how we're going to deal with the individuals that are here not legally. All of that is consistent. Not one. It's Hillary Clinton, frankly, that hasn't laid out a hasn't talked to the press about her plan, who's done all the flip-flops. We released a video yesterday that went flip-flop after flip-flop. She's been for a deportation task force. She's been against it. She's for kicking people out of the country. Then she's against it. She has been 100% inconsistent with her positions, depending on which, whatever way the wind blows. And the fact of the matter is, is that Trump, on the other hand, has been 100% consistent with how he is going to handle all of these issues. Lest, lest you thought you were going to have a nice, quiet Labor Day weekend, he's got a lot going on this weekend with the outreach to the minority community in Detroit. So we'll tap you next week you and bet. get some Look reaction to that. That. And I hope you do get at least a picnic or something. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> Maybe nice a burger. <laughs> you could bring one for us. <laughs>